Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another mini tutorial. Today we're going to be focusing on how to get the ender dragon egg once you've killed the ender dragon. I am showing you this in my single player world so there are a few deaths, just ignore those. Our first step is going to be actually getting up to the egg. From there there are two different ways to actually get the egg, the second of which is my favorite but I will show you both. So, since it's difficult and a little bit risky with this portal here to try and get the egg where it is, what we're going to do is pick it and hope that it teleports somewhere else. Let's see where it went. Ah, there it is. Okay, so from here there are two different techniques. I'll show you the first, and that's going to be with a piston and the redstone torch. So, what you're going to do is you're going to place the piston directly behind the egg and power it with the redstone torch. What this does is causes the egg to pop as an item which you're able to pick up. So, if you happen to carry a piston and a redstone torch with you into a dragon battle, you're set. If you don't, let's pretend that the egg landed here. So, what you're going to do, if you have a pick and a torch, which I think is a little bit more likely, personally at least, you're going to pick two below underneath where the egg is sitting, just like this. So, egg, block, space. In the space, you're going to place a torch and remove the block between the egg and the torch. What this does, again, and a little bit simpler, is cause the egg to pop off as an item that you're able to pick up. So there you have it guys, super simple to do, two different techniques. One is a little bit more complicated, but if you're confident, it works. If you just prefer to have simple things on you, this one also works. Either way, you have the dragon egg, and now you can do whatever you want with it. Hope this helps you guys out, let me know what you think down below, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!